99% of people fail to solve this Oxford entrance exam question. Can you solve it? We are given this shape with three right angles and with side lengths as 3, 3, 4, 5. Our goal is to find the length of this side, labeled as X. Many viewers came up with the correct answer, but they used a completely incorrect method to get the final answer. So today, I want to show you why that method does not work and how we can find the length of X using the right approach. Take a moment to think about it. Pause the video if you want to try solving it on your own. And when you're ready, let us walk through it together step by step. All right, let's start. First, here is the incorrect method many people used. They draw this imaginary line and says this triangle with legs of three and four is a three, four, five triangle. So the hypotenuse is 5. That means this is 5. Then they draw perpendicular from here and parallel to this side, making vertical leg of this triangle to be 3, which gives them another 3, 4, 5 triangle. So they copied 5 to this from here, added the extra 4 from here, and concluded that x is equal to 9. Sounds reasonable, right? But here is the problem. This vertical length is not actually 3. Let me show you by drawing the figure to scale. If we place that vertical line at a height of 3, it does not line up with the bottom corner where the 4 and 5 sides meet. That means the triangle you are trying to form does not actually exist. So the shortcut with back-to-back -back 3, 4, 5 triangles completely falls apart. Now here is the correct way to solve it. Focus only on this shape. Let us rotate the entire figure to make it easier to visualize. We now have a horizontal length of 3 on top, and another horizontal length of 5 on the bottom, making a total length of 8. There is also a vertical length of 4 on the side. If we shift this side length of 4 all to the left, we are looking at a right triangle, with one leg equal to 4 and the other leg equal to 8. So the hypotenuse of this triangle will be the square root of 4 squared plus 8 squared, and that equals the square root of 80. Now let us return to the original shape. So this total diagonal distance, from end to end, is the square root of 80. This forms another right triangle, with one leg as 3, and the hypotenuse as the square root of 80. Now using the Pythagorean theorem, x squared equals the square root of 80 squared minus 3 squared, which gives x squared equals as 80 minus 9, which is 71. So the final answer is that x equals the square root of 71, and that is the correct way to solve it. I hope this helped you see why the earlier shortcut fails, and how proper geometry reasoning gives us the right answer. Sometimes geometry problems are trickier than they look, and that is what makes them fun. If you enjoyed this explanation and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more brain-teasing math questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.